an open bucket right there. That's not necessarily the Lady Lions game. Illinois doing a good job restraining their ability to ball screen early. Jayla Odin from deep, and it is cash. Pass goes over Cook. Six on the shot clock, Shoop Hill in the corner. A little short, Bostic with the rebound, and she gets the putback. Penn yep. State now only down by five. Makaira Cook throws up a three, and she hits it at the buzzer. Yeah, Chesky with her bread and butter on the other side, but now it's Makaira Cook pushing the pace. Makaira Cook, the inbound to Shoop Hill, who finds Genesis Bryant in the corner, and she drains the three. The Lions trying to push the pace here. McKenna Marisa throws the ball up. Off the glass, it's no good. Kapanis grabs the board and puts it in for two. The deficit for Penn State down 30 to 22. Let's see who Illinois turns to here. They're still going inside to Bostic. Makaira Cook from deep, and it is Kai. That seems to be a weakness for Penn State. It has been on the season, defensive reaction time. They've been slow to respond to switches, off ball movement, transition threes, another area where they've been a little slow. Penn State looks to be pushing the pace here as an answer. They're trying to turn to the transition ball, it seems. McKenna Marisa saved that ball from going out of bounds, but eventually finds its way into the hands of Genesis Bryant, who finds Kendall Bostic. They're trying to find Williamson inside, it seems. Shoup Hill and Bostic have been crowding her, and that's forced Penn State to the outside. Great defense here Genesis by Illinois. Genesis Bryant now, a Euro step, and she got just enough English on that. Jayla Odin now with the ball. Gets it to Adalia McKenzie, who finds Giovanna Lopez. And that is perfect off-ball movement there by Lopez. McKenna Marisa, who was the primary option, so it seems like a little disgruntled when they're getting the off-ball movement here. It's going away from the person that it seems they want to target. And Marisa, a deep three, and she gets it to go. Penn State is now down by 14, but McKenna Marisa is now officially the 10th all-time scorer in Penn State history as Kendall Bostic picks up where she left off at the end of that second quarter. And now Brigham will be on Bostic. That's an interesting matchup to watch as Makaira Cook draws the foul and gets the bucket. She'll be headed to the line. Makaira Cook working on Kapanis. A baseline drive, and she puts just enough English on it for two points. With 15 minutes of ball left, Illinois continuing to go into Bostic. And Bostic now has 20 points, 14 rebounds. What an amazing game. Really encouraging those banner raises this season to preach the history of this program to her team. And Makaira Cook finds Odin, who finds Genesis Bryan, who pulls a three, and it hits nothing but net there. And that's a deep jump shot for Kendall Bostic. We don't typically see her shooting out by the, the three-point line. She took that shot with quite alacrity. It seems like she wanted to get in on the long-range action as well. <laughs> she played all 45 minutes in the game against Michigan State, and this is very surprised to see. We know that Keeger likes to substitute a lot, but here, very surprised that it's McKenna Marisa, of all people. <laughs> Teresa Grentz's regular season record of 24-8. and eight. And quite the buzz around here of how quickly Shauna Green has turned things around. Like Bryant now. Penn State's going back to a little 1-2-2 two, two here, their signature. That's a big one for morale to see a player like Cameron Rhodes get involved on the scoring. And this is amazing ball movement by the Illini. Eventually makes its way to Genesis Bryant, who just drains the three. And the near side corner. And that style of basketball, you never see it anymore among teams. It's always a gem. It's always special. And a great job by them and they picked the right game to hold a pregame for. There's a lot going into this game. Shauna Green again going to pick up the 20th win on the season. It's about getting hot at the right time. The Illini have certainly done that as the season begins to come to a close. They'll be home for Michigan State, this is a series four games in 10 days to end the regular season. Conversely for Illinois, they just had a little mini bye week this week. What an amazing game this was for Illinois on both sides of the ball. Certainly was an amazing game for the Illini. 
as they win 85 to 62 at the buzzer.